Hey everyone, so this is going to be a test to see how long it takes to charge four different Android smartphones. So on the left here I have the LG G5 and then next to it is the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge, the Xperia Z5 Premium and then on the right, the far right, the Nexus 5X. Now all of these phones have different battery capacities and also different capabilities in terms of charging. Uh, and I'm going to be talking about that throughout the video, but for now we'll just get started. So all these are on zero battery right now. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start with the LG G5. So this has a 2800 capacity battery. And USB Type-C. Uh, also it is Quick Charge 3.0 compatible. And then the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. Now this has a much larger battery at 3600. Mm. See there the uh, LG G5 starting up. Let's go ahead and start the timer. Alright, so you see that the S7 Edge is now starting up with the fast charging. Uh, so yeah, the S7 Edge has a 3600 capacity battery and has a standard USB charging cable and quick charge 2.0 instead of 3.0. Alright, so about 30 seconds in, I'm going to go ahead and connect these two phones now. Alright, so now we got the Nexus 5X and the Z5 Premium going to go ahead and plug them in right now since the clock is already running. So the Nexus 5X has USB Type-C charging. Uh, it does not have Quick Charge 2.0 though, but it does have fast charging. And then the Z5 Premium does have Quick Charge 2.0. And a standard uh, USB charging. Alright, so you guys see it starting up. And then the Z5 Premium has a 3430 capacity battery, uh, whereas the Nexus 5X has a 2700, so much closer to the LG G5 there. Alright guys, so I'm going to go ahead and check in at the 15 minute mark. Alright guys, so closing in on the 15 minute mark here. And the LG G5. 29% very impressive there and it says 40 minutes until charge. We'll see if that holds up uh, If it does it will be under one hour total and Then the s7 edge is at 21% All right, so I'm going to go check in on the other two phones now All right, so the Nexus 5x actually doesn't say uh, Doesn't give a percent so we're just going to wait for it to fully charge and we'll find out uh, I don't want to turn the phone on because I'm not turning any other ones on, so just to keep it even. And then the Z5 Premium, 16%. Alright guys, so I'm going to provide another update at the 30 minute mark. Alright guys, so 30 minutes in. And the G5 is at 50, uh, 57%. Very impressive there. 30 minutes until it's supposed to be fully charged. And then the S7 Edge, 42%. And it says one hour and four minutes until fully charged. All right, guys, so the Nexus 5X, again, it doesn't say a percent, but it looks like it's about maybe 40% there. All right, and then the Z5 Premium, 34%, uh, 35%. All right, guys, so um, I'm going to do the next update at either the one hour mark or when the LG G5 finishes, which should be at around 50 minutes. So whichever comes first. Closing in an hour now. And you'll notice that for the LG G5, so it's at 92%. Uh, and it said 10 minutes until uh, it's fully charged. And it's actually said that for around the last 20 minutes. So interesting there. Uh, I was expecting it to finish at around 50 minutes, but it looks like it'll probably be around 20 minutes later than that. But it should still finish in first place. And then the S7 Edge is at 80%. It says 33 minutes, so it should be around an hour and a half. We'll see if that holds up. Now for the Nexus 5X. So it looks like around 80%, I'd say. And the Z5 Premium, 69%. Alright, so um, I will check in once the LG G5 finishes, which should be in around 10 minutes. So in a surprising turn of events, you see that we're 1 hour and 15 minutes in. And the LG G5 is still not done. 
uh, it says 98% and it still says 10 minutes estimated until fully charged. Uh, so again, it said that for around the last 30 minutes, 99% now. Uh, and then the S7 Edge is at 94% and it says 15 minutes until fully charged. So S7 Edge is catching up despite having a much larger battery. Uh, so once the LG G5 reaches 100%, I'll let you know. So the LG G5 just reached 100% uh, and that is at 1 hour 19 minutes. At this point, the uh, S7 Edge is at 96%. And it says 10 minutes until fully charged. Uh, but I actually believe that I think it will be 10 minutes. So, um, again, the LG 5 has a 2800 capacity, whereas the S7 Edge has a 3600. So, in my opinion, this is more impressive for the S7 Edge just because it has a larger capacity battery and should just finish around 10 minutes later. Uh, but the LG 5 did get off to a faster start. Now, there's some things worth pointing out. Uh, for the LG G5, this is the only phone out of all of these that does have a removable battery. So I got this as a pre-order bonus. Um, so you can remove it at the bottom here with the module design. Also, though the LG G5 is Quick Charge 3.0 compatible, uh, I'm not sure if this power brick, this wall adapter that shipped with it is Quick Charge 3.0. Uh, online, I can't find an answer. Some people seem to think that's Quick Charge 2.0. But uh, that would be a factor, so... All these adapters that I use, all the charging cables I use, are the ones that ship with the phones in the box. So just keep that in mind. So we're about 1 hour 25 minutes in it and it looks like the Nexus 5X just finished. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn this on just to check, make sure it's at 100%. Uh, the clock actually is reading 1 hour 27 minutes, but it took me around 2 minutes to um, hook both of these up. So I'm just going to say 1 hour 25 minutes. Alright, so... Well, actually it says 95%. Uh, in that case, I'm going to let it keep running. Alright, so you just saw there hit 100%. And that was at 1 hour 32 minutes. Uh, so around 13 minutes longer than the LG G5. And now I'm going to go check in on the Nexus 5X because I think it's about to finish right now. The Nexus 5X just hit 100%. Uh, at 1 hour and 48 minutes, but again, I'm going to subtract 2 minutes from that because it took me around 2 minutes to set it up. Uh, so 1 hour 46 minutes, and the Z5 Premium is at 99% right now, so it should be finished any minute. There you have it, the Z5 Premium just at 100%. At 1 hour 55 minutes, subtract 2 minutes, so 1 hour 53 minutes. Alright guys, so now we're done with the test. Uh, I'm just going to give my quick thoughts on it. Uh, and just as a side note, I'm going to be doing polls in all of my videos going forward. Uh, any videos that deserve a poll anyways. So you can access that poll by hitting the button in the top right corner. Uh, and then vote for which one you thought was most impressive. Now I'll say that the Nexus 5X was the least impressive. Again, it has the smallest battery, 2700. Uh, but it came in second to last place. But not surprising considering it's not Quick Charge 2.0 compatible. Uh, the Z5 Premium did alright, but not nearly as good as the uh, S7 Edge. The S7 Edge beat it by 21 minutes and it also has 170 more uh, milliamp capacity battery than the Z5 Premium. And then finally, considering that the LG G5 has just a 2800 capacity compared to the um, S7 Edge, which has a 3600, but the LG G5 only beat it by about 13 minutes. Uh, I'm going to have to say that the LG G5 Quick Charger, uh, that the wall adapter that ships with it is not Quick Charge 3.0. I have to think that it's Quick Charge 2.0. Uh, I was definitely expecting to finish faster than around an hour 20 minutes, uh, hour 19 minutes. But yeah guys, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll get a Quick Charge 3.0 cable uh, and then redo the test just for the LG G5, see if it's any quicker. So yeah guys, thanks again for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you're not already. I hope you're having a lot more videos like this in the future. And be sure to vote in the poll.